But one day they, one day they called me, and, and he was at death's door. His lungs was filled up with fluid and everything. And so the next, the next day after that, I called the hospital in a little room there where they were all sitting. John Carter answered the phone, and he said, we saw a little flicker of life this morning. He said, he's still on the respirator, but he opened an eye. And he would sometimes, he would just open one eye. And so uh, that was some hope. And so I called two or three times a day for the next three days. And the next day he called me. And I didn't, I, and I didn't know who I was talking to. I, th I really thought I was talking to Waylon. Waylon was alive at then. They were big buddies. And I thought I was talking to Waylon because it's, with that respirator, his voice was so screwed up. And he said, Marshall, <coughs> he said, as soon as I get out of here, he said, I want you and Etta and June and myself to take my bus. And we want to go on a long vacation. I said, John, you think you can do that? He said, yeah, I can do it. He said, if you and Ed will go with us, we'll go, and I can do it. I said, all right, get yourself in shape, and we'll just do it. But he never got himself in shape. It just kept going down and down and on down. And then when it reached rock bottom, then June passed away, and I talked to him several times while she was there and he would call me and assure me that she was going to be all right. She was going to be all right, but she wasn't. And so she passed away, and then when I came up for June, June's funeral, we, uh, I, I didn't see him much. I saw him, but I didn't really try to talk to him at all. But when we went to the cemetery and they put June's casket right there with the family's chairs and friends all back here and they couldn't walk and the girls that work in the house with him brought him up on a golf cart and we the three of us set him in a chair right in front of June and, said, and they said would you please sit down beside of him and just talk to him a little bit because we're going to go back to the back back here <coughs> And I said, sure. So we sat there and talked. And the ironic part of, of it all, here are the three of us all back together. Even June's in her casket. And we talked about June. We talked, we talked at great length about June. And... Uh, So I saw him a couple more times and talked to him every day until he had to go back in the hospital. And I, I just had a feeling that he was never going to come back out because it took him 2 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I, just, I had this feeling, a feeling sort of like the, when I met him, but not the same. And so... Uh, and I got a call in early, early morning hours that he had passed away. And uh, it is almost like I had lost every brother, every sister. It was like I lost my mom and my dad, which I already lost. It, it was like... It was like everything was gone.